The animation begins by showing a colony of minions in search of the most wicked and cruel master. The minions travel back in time to different eras and places, hoping to find a suitable master to serve. However, their efforts are met with disastrous results at every turn. In ancient times, the minions followed their master to the mainland, only to witness their master being crushed by a dinosaur. Thinking that the dinosaur was their new master, they followed it but their carelessness caused the dinosaurs to fall into a lava crater and die. In the Stone Age, the minions found an ancient human to serve. However, their master was killed after one of the minions instructed him to fight a bear. In the ancient Egyptian century, the minions found a new master, but they made the same mistake that caused their previous master's demise. A hundred years later, the minions served a vampire as their master. They threw a birthday party for him but accidentally let sunlight into the room, causing the vampire to perish. After several hundred years of living in their secluded village, the minions find themselves craving a new master to serve. However, their latest master falls victim to cannon fire in a war, and the minions are forced to flee from the pursuing army. They find refuge in a cave where they build a village and live happily for many years. As time passes, the minions become restless and long for a new master to serve. Kevin, one of the minions, comes up with the idea to search for a new master, and he seeks out volunteers to join him on his journey. Stuart and Bob accidentally join Kevin's team, and they set out to find the most ruthless employer in the world. Their journey takes them through a snowy area and into the ocean, where Stuart begins to hallucinate due to dehydration. When they finally arrive in New York City in 1968, their clothes are soaked, and Kevin takes the initiative to find them suitable replacements. They explore the city and spend the night in a mall, where they accidentally stumble upon a TV channel featuring Scarlet Overkill, the year's most notorious criminal, based in Orlando, Florida. The following day, the minions embark on their journey to Orlando to meet Scarlet. Along the way, they encounter many new and strange things, such as chatting with a baby and his mother. Exhausted from walking, they rest by the side of the highway and try to hitchhike. After several unsuccessful attempts, a family of robbers gives them a ride. However, the ride turns out to be dangerous as the police chase after the car. Using their skills and quick thinking, the minions help the family escape and continue their journey to Orlando. Meanwhile, back at the minions' village, three snow monsters appear and wreak havoc. As Kevin, Bob, and Stuart arrive at the crime scene, they hear an announcement that Scarlet will be performing at a nearby theater. Intrigued, they decide to check it out and sneak into the theater. Inside the theater, Scarlet announces that she needs new henchmen to help her steal a precious jewel. The minions and other spectators race to grab the jewel before Scarlet does, but she ends up defeating them all. However, Stuart manages to grab the jewel before she does, impressing Scarlet with his skill and determination. She decides to make the minions her new henchmen and takes them with her to England. During the flight, Kevin contacts his fellow minions back at the colony to inform them of their new employer in the UK. The news excites the minions at the pole, and they celebrate by blowing a trumpet. Unfortunately, their celebration causes a chunk of ice to fall on their master, prompting a group of angry snow monsters to chase after them. The minions at the pole decide to join Kevin and the others in England, hoping to start a new life with Scarlet as their master. After a short fight, Kevin and the others arrive at Scarlet's house. The minions are introduced to Scarlet's husband, Herb Overkill. They all gather for a meeting to discuss their plan to steal the crown of Queen Elizabeth. During the meeting, Scarlet provides the minions with a weapon kit, which includes a robotic arm and leg for Bob, a lava-filled gun for Kevin, and a hypnotic device for Stuart. The following day, the minions set out on their mission to steal the crown. They attempt to enter the Royal Carnival grounds, but they are stopped at the gate due to the lack of parental supervision. Kevin comes up with a clever idea to disguise themselves as adults by wearing suits and hats. The ticket seller is hesitant to sell them tickets but when they offer her a gold bullion, she quickly gives in. Kevin and his fellow minions finally reach the storage room where the crown of Queen Elizabeth is kept. However, their progress is blocked by three guards. Quick to think on his feet, Stuart uses his hypnotic device to mesmerize the guards into a dancing stupor, allowing the trio to slip past them undetected. Once inside the room, Kevin uses his powerful lava-filled gun to melt the door and gain access. However, they are suddenly confronted by an elderly guard who tries to stop them from stealing the crown. Though initially intimidated, the minions manage to outwit the guard and make their way closer to the storage compartment where the crown is kept. Just as they are about to nab the crown, the storage compartment begins to descend as the queen is about to wear it. The minions quickly hide to avoid detection, and with Bob's advanced tools, they manage to sneak into the carriage carrying the queen and the crown. Their escape is short-lived as the guards soon catch up to them, and a chase ensues. However, Bob's luck takes an unexpected turn when he manages to pull a sword from a nearby stone, making all the police bow to him as a sign of respect. News of his feat quickly spreads, and he is hailed as the next king, much to the dismay of Scarlet, 
who had been watching the events unfold on television. She decides to meet with the Minions. The Minions were on their way to England, excited for their new adventure. However, their journey took a detour when they got lost in Australia. Instead of being upset, the Minions decided to make the most of their time there and enjoy their trip. They explored the beautiful landscapes, met new friends, and even learned how to surf. Meanwhile, in the kingdom, Bob had been crowned as the new king after stealing the crown. He made a speech in front of everyone, and everyone seemed to be enjoying the festivities in the palace. But their happiness was short-lived as Scarlet suddenly appeared and threatened the minions, accusing them of betrayal. Despite Scarlet's anger, the minions didn't hesitate to give her the crown and sword they had acquired. Scarlet was impressed with their loyalty and even crowned herself as the new queen. The minions were then sent underground to meet Herb, who was supposed to execute them. However, Herb found it difficult to carry out the task and instead had fun with the minions. As they continued to be locked up, Kevin and the others devised a plan to escape through the underground tunnels. As Scarlet is crowned queen, the minions plan to present her with flowers. However, they face a roadblock as the door to the coronation hall is guarded by two executioners. Kevin takes the lead and suggests they enter through the roof. After some struggle, they finally make their way into the hall but are followed by a swarm of bees. They end up on top of a lamp, which then falls on Scarlet. Scarlet accuses the minions of trying to assassinate her and orders the criminals to arrest Kevin and his companions. Bob and Stuart are caught, but Kevin manages to escape. Meanwhile, the other minions arrive in England via subway and begin their search for Kevin, turning to Kevin who knows Stuart and Bob were arrested through television. After rescuing Bob and Stuart, Kevin rushes to Scarlet's house to retrieve weapons and rescue his friends. However, he is spotted by the sumo villain who immediately alerts the other criminals. Upon reaching Scarlet's house, Kevin accidentally stumbles upon Herb's creation tool, which turns him into a giant, scaring the criminals. In the meantime, Scarlet has ordered Bob and Stuart to be blown up, but Kevin arrives in the nick of time to save them. A furious Scarlet then engages in a fierce fight with Kevin, but he manages to defeat her. The minions who had reached the city witness the fight and are saddened by Kevin's apparent sacrifice. However, to their surprise, Kevin emerges from behind wearing a giant minion suit parachute. After the epic battle and the minions saving the city, Kevin and the gang went to the Queen to receive awards for their heroic deeds. Bob was awarded a crown, and Stuart received a crystal ball as a gift, which disappointed him. However, the Queen quickly rectified the situation by giving Stuart an electric guitar, which he promptly destroyed while playing. This led to Stuart receiving another crystal ball as a gift. Kevin was hailed as the hero of the city and received the greatest recognition. The Queen gave him a medal and thanked him for his bravery. As the animation came to an end, the Queen's crown was stolen by Scarlet and Herb. But suddenly, a mysterious figure appeared and froze them both. It was none other than Little Gru, who then took the crown and ran away with it. The moral of the story is to always double-check before sitting on a throne, or you might end up with a lamp on your head. Always beware of bees, for they can unintentionally turn you into a hero and a giant minion.